I farm with uh, my parents and my wife Jamie and our four kids uh, here in Spink County. Versified operation with uh, small grains, corn, beans, and uh, cow-calf cattle and uh, cover crops. plant cover crops we've always got a handful of species in there you know it could be three to eight. We've uh, been no-till since 1986. It's been a real success for us through the decades now uh, especially the past you know several years with the uh, weather extremes that we've been through here in South Dakota. Just being flexible to planting different things and not being stuck in a rut with a two crop rotation really, really helps. It's allowed us to uh, be able to uh, still, you know, produce crops on our fields and get in and get planted and uh, save the moisture when needed, but you know, the cover crops will utilize the moisture when we've got too much. You know, those drought years of 17 and 18, our trend for our yields kept going up. And in 18, we were really dry. Our corn looked like pineapple. I mean, it was that dry. I just told Brian, it's just heartbreaking. This is just gonna be the worst year ever. And then we just got enough rain and it popped out of it and that's all we needed. It was the best crop we've ever pulled off this farm. That confirmed to us that what we're doing works and we can withstand the weather extremes. I feel pretty confident with what we do and how we manage things that it, it does bring our stress level down quite a bit. I'm just more comfortable with what we're doing because I know it's sustainable and it, it's going to work for us. The last two or three years have been a great example on weather extremes and how well we can perform in those situations. That really sets your mind at ease. This is exactly what we need to be doing because we can sustain and get through these weather extremes. And so my stress level is significantly less than it used to be 